Welcome back. I'm Rich Workman, Florida House District 30 representative. Before we get started on this week's video blog, let's uh, put a big shout out to uh, McKenna, my lovely niece, who made me these lovely cookies. Uh, I don't know if you can see them, but they're so thin, they only have one side. They're absolutely delicious. <laughs> so I want to thank you very much, McKenna, for making these delicious cookies. I will enjoy them. Thank you, McKenna. You're beautiful. Now, let's talk about traveling the state because that's what I've been doing in the off season, trying to run this mortgage company with my mom, but in the meantime, having to travel all over the place, talk about growth management primarily. As you may be aware, I passed the Growth Management Reform Act uh, in the Florida House and the Senate this year and uh, became law not too long ago. And as a result, uh, growth management as we've known it since 1985 has been turned on its head. It is now a local issue where it was a Tallahassee issue, where now um, uh, this, in this state, uh, growth is managed at the local level. It's my opinion that that's exactly where growth is meant to be managed. You should have cities and counties deciding for themselves how to grow, how not to grow, and what to look like. Not the business of Tallahassee. Proud that's a law. It is causing me to travel a lot because uh, both cities and counties and uh, developers and associations want to learn more about how it affects their day-to-day -day operations. So I've been doing that, traveling the state, talking to them about growth management. I think that we're going to see through 2011 and 12 um, a return to normalcy in the, um, in the large-scale developments because of this, well, quite frankly, return to normalcy in the way we do growth here in this state. Let's talk a little bit about pension reform. I also passed a, a major piece of legislation reforming the um, FRS, the Florida Retirement System. Um, it required, in, in uh, one aspect was to require all state employees to contribute 3% to their pensions. On Monday, the FEA, that's the Florida Education Association, filed a lawsuit against this law, claiming it unconstitutional uh, to, re to qu require um, employees to contribute 3%. They say that, that we broke the contract because they didn't have to, and now they do. Uh, we'll let the courts decide. I'll personally let the courts decide whether or not that's constitutional. I wanted to say that I'm very proud of the work that was done in the legislature on pension reform. We took a very good system and made it a whole lot better. Uh, FRS has been shored up for years, if not generations to come. Uh, employees got a moderate change to their system to, to, uh, versus a, 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 um, a much bigger, harder pill to swallow. I think the moderate changes to the FRS, um, the savings of $1.1 billion to taxpayers, I think equals out to some very, very fair uh, comprehensive reform and I'm proud to, to have been a part of that. Let's talk about redistricting. This is now hot and heavy. This is what's coming up. This is what you need to be involved with. Uh, the census is done. The numbers are in. Florida picked up two congressional seats. We have to uh, redraw every boundary. Our state senate, our state uh, house representatives, and our congressional boundaries must be redrawn. This is going to be as open door as it comes. We're the only state ever to put the software that we're going to use to draw districts on the internet. We're asking you to go there, floridaredistricting.org, floridaredistricting.org. Uh, on there you'll find all the rules that will help you comply. Uh, both the amendments five and six are there, um, the standard federal laws, everything that deals with drawing these district boundaries are on these sites. Uh, and then once you are familiar with them, you can actually go in and draw the lines yourself. So you can draw these boundaries, you can help us with your public input on how we should draw these boundaries. And if going to the internet and doing that is not your thing, I want you to join us at Open Forum here in Brevard County in Melbourne on July the 28th at 10 a.m. at the Vieira Government Center. Please make plans to attend. Come give your testimony, your two cents on how you think these boundaries should be drawn. Um, as we continue, your public testimony is going to be critical. Well, thank you so much. My name is Rich Workman. Um, you can follow me on Facebook and Twitter. You can visit my website to learn more at richworkman.com. That's rich with a T, workman.com. You can uh, email me at rich at richworkman.com. Look forward to hearing from you. Look forward to seeing you again soon. Thanks so much and bye-bye.